Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna do a little more treasure hunting today. I ain't doing much good finding arrowheads. So I'm gonna put up a couple different metal detecting hunts. Two different sites. I got a some nat a nature clip in there. It, that's kind of divides them. So the first part's from uh, one site and uh, second half from another site. Just thought I'd show y'all some of them, some of our flyers we planted. We rescued all these from an old house site. They strip mined it. It's gone. All gone, but here's what's left of it. Saved them. And there's a few of the leftovers we didn't put, never put in rows. All the, yep, most of the yellow ones have done dried up. White ones and uh, some of the other type are blooming now. They sure are pretty though. Yeah, we saved them. They'd be in the bottom of the pit. Hey, hope y'all enjoy. <clears throat> I got an overload signal down here. And anyway, this is what it is. I, I don't know what it is. But it's got hinges on it. But it almost looks like a hood off of a small truck or Jeep or something. It might not be. It might just be something different, but it's it's definitely cool. I think it's some kind of pot metal or aluminum type material. Kind of cool though. Wonder what that is. Well, uh, just detected a mason jar lid. It, it was just under the leaves. We'll take it home and see if it glows anyway. Yeah. Alright, I finally got something around. Right there. I have no idea what it is. No idea. Look about the size of a penny or a dime, but I feel a shank on the back of it. So it's going to be a flat button. Or some kind of button with a shank on it. Some kind of flat button. Can't see no designs on it, but shoot, I dropped it back in the hole. There it is. But I'm gonna look around, see if there's any more signals in there. Well, heck yeah. I'm at one of the sites I used to stop at. I haven't been able to stop by here in a long time. Yeah. Goes, goes way back. I found flat buttons here before. This is where I found that um, Barber dime. Anyway, later. Well, folks, I'm gonna get out here. Motor detectors, batteries are getting a little low. I found that in there a while back. Take the old pot. Pretty good size. Rim of a cast iron pot. Pretty cool. But appreciate y'all watching. Get me some more batteries. Come back another day. Later. All right, y'all. Here's what I came home with. I wasn't in there detecting probably 45 minutes at the most. That's some kind of piece of iron. But uh, I found this little piece of foil. It says three yards and one quarter inch made in the USA. Probably off some kind of fabric or something. I don't know. I'd say it's pretty old. Made in the USA. You gotta be, right? <laughs> cool. But here's that button I found. It's real cool. I got to look at it. It's got writing all over it. It says Treble London on it. And I think it says maybe warranted around that shank there. Anyway, it's kind of cool. Got some like flirty designs on the on it and all that. Just old button. Kind of cool though, right? Flat button. Don't know how how old that is, but y'all tell me. 
I'm just a metal detector, so I don't know much. And it's some kind of grommet, probably off of who knows. And that old jar lid. I tried it. It did. It, I took it in there and put it under the black light, and it didn't glow just like most of them do. Face the copper wire. Kind of hammered flat on the end there, looks like. Anyway, no telling what that was. But there's my finds. Oh, I forgot. Hold on just a second. And this thing here. Kinda, kinda looks like a Jeep hood. But I'm sure it ain't. It's probably some kind of cover off of something. Some kind of something old. But it's made out of pot metal aluminum looks like. Y'all know what that is? Let me know. It's kinda kinda cool. Junk. Looks almost like a bubblegum machine flapper, don't it? <laughs> Giant bubblegum machine flapper. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hey y'all. Appreciate y'all. Enjoy this nice weather while we got it. Thank you. Blizzard. Open it flow. Hey buzzard. Hey buzzard. <laughs> I guess I used to me. Alrighty y'all, I'm back up here again. Stop had some time, stopped by here for a little while. But I just dug up a piece of harmonica reed yep first find hope to find something cool today again Adio. all right i got another find down here <whistles> there it is like a button Got some roots in it. Oh no, that ain't a button. That's a, it's a washer. Oh hell. Nice and green anyway. Let's try again. Alright, I dug up one of them. I've dug them up before. I have no idea what they are. T2. Maybe a handle, door knocker. Probably, that's probably not what it is. But it's cool. <laughs> alright, alright. Got something kind of cool out here. Looks like a... Probably a cock mechanism or something. Full of dirt and stuff. But <clears throat> got a bunch of gears on it and stuff there. Kind of cool. Some sticking out the end there. Anyway, thought some of y'all might like to see that. <laughs> uh, just junk, but it's still cool. Hey y'all. Alrighty, I'm gonna go down here in the woods. There's a spring down here in the woods. It's got some. Used to be walled up real pretty. My brother said, and the uh, timber cutters run a skitter to it or something. But I'm going to see if I can find it. I, uh, see, I think it's in one of my last videos here a while back when I was doing some exploring in the woods. But uh, it's down in here somewhere. I'm going to see if I can find it. I might leave camera running a minute. Some of y'all like to see the woods. 
Kind of pretty. Let's see here. I think it's up in here somewhere. Remember, it's like a little ditch. I think it's right down over in here. See a low spot. But I never detected around it at all. Yeah, there it is down in there. A lot of trees and leaves. Yeah, right here it is. There's some rocks there. Some there. Wet spot. It's just out of the side of the hill there. But anyway, I'm going to turn my detector on and see if I can't find something up around in here. Y'all wish me luck. Yeah, I didn't find nothing around it. Didn't find nothing around that spring except for. Looks like a bullet flattened out. But I just <laughs> dug this out here. Just out in the woods. Is that crazy? Later, y'all. Alright, not too long from. Not too far from that screw cap. Look here. Looks like something old. Yeah, that's some kind. Hey, of, that's some kind of buckle, I think. Yeah. Let me give it a little blow here. Oh yeah. That's cool. Looks like it's gonna have designs on it and stuff. Some kind of little sand buckle. Cool. Maybe we'll get that cleaned up. Awesome. Later. Alrighty, next find in the woods. A broke hole wish that had been complete oh well <laughs> I'll take it well y'all I'm about done I done broke my shovel I can still poke around a little bit <clears throat> not a whole lot shoot I'm wore out it's warm out here today but I just found a broken axe digging them iron signals too you know I always hope to find one of these holes. Oh. It's still got a pretty dab iron good edge on it. Considering. That's cool. <laughs> Later. Alrighty, I just popped that out. Definitely something, something cool. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Something copper or brass. Huh. Put it in the pocket. <laughs> Later. All right, y'all, just quick clean up from that. But uh, this is that buckle thing I found. Got the dirt off of it. Well, most of the dirt off of it. Kind of cool. The holes, the way the hose shape's kind of different. Like it probably, I don't know. It's cool, though. All designed up. Cool. And I found that too. Didn't film it. Oh, uh, umbrella. 
Paracel or whatever they called it. Found that there too. And that there, I broke the, the end of it off when I was cleaning it. And I just wanted to see how strong it was. And I, <laughs> you know how it is, I broke it. I don't know what that is. But anyway, thank y'all very much for watching. That uh, that first segment was from uh, just the other day, and the second segment after the after the buzzard was uh, some past uh, two past hunts at a different place, the possum field. If you watched any of the, my past videos, but uh, thought I'd make y'all video. I ain't found him any arrowheads and stuff lately. But I hope to get back on them if it'll just rain. Hey, appreciate y'all.